Uh, probably you guys know the car out of our brake uh, setup, um, which we showed to you. We are running a 280 millimeter stop tech just right in the front. So you just can order that in the shop. Uh, it will be until the end of the month. Uh, you can get it for 1,590 euro. Uh, we run here a special brake caliber design that your uh, brake pedal feeling is just like stock, but you have a lot of more, a lot more performance and really nice uh, brake setup or a really nice braking point um, when you are on the track or when you are just on the street. So just tell you some stuff about the car. There's a G184 uh, MX-5 ND built in 2019. Um, we just run here our complete exhaust system. So header, race cat, uh, pre and end silencer. We run BBR cams and the mapping just comes from us. The car's doing 224 horses on the dyno and rest like hell and I really love it to drive. So just have the same enjoy like I have and we will just jump into the car. See you then, bye. So all of you guys, you just uh, introduced your radio to the car. So it's a, it's a G184 uh, with BBR cams. Um, our complete exhaust system, so header, um, race cat, middle and end silencer. Um, we are running our shorter rear axle, so instead of the 2.886, I think, uh, we are going 3.45, so it's just a bit shorter. And you know, when you're just dropping cams in the car, you will have a little low, little less torque in the lower ref range, but this is completely gone with the shorter rear axle and you can ref it like hell. So I just love it. And yes, Sebastian, just have a short uh, look on the speedometer and we will just give it a go. it's just there um, and yeah the pedal feeling is nice so that actually is for me the perfect roadster at the moment so um, yeah we'll just have a, another go in the car we just go a bit around we'll show you some some stuff where people are asking me yeah if you have a shorter rear axle is it possible to also have a long distance travel on a highway or is the RPM too high etc 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 we will just have a look for this in the next short drive. So guys, um, yeah, whereas we have the shorter rear axle in the car, we have the BBR cams in the car, and lots of people just asking me, is, idle has is the idle hesitating? Uh, is the car stuttering and shaking at low revs? We're just going on the highway and cruising. Uh, I do not can t I, I really cannot tell you the the miles per hour, but I can tell you the kilometers per hour. So when you are at 120 kilometer, which should be something around 90 miles or so, um, we are at 3,600 RPM. So it's absolutely not bad, and you really can have long distance travel on the highway without any issues and it really feels great. Um, the car, we just, because there were people asking me uh, when we have the shorter rear axle, is the car uh, struggling when you're running through a town with let's say 50 kilometers an hour, which is about 30, 25 miles an hour, whatever. Um, so not that fast. We are now in the four gears. We are at 50. Um, kilometers per hour and the car is absolutely not struggling it just feels like a standard car it absolutely feels perfect we run in here a master edit tune so we did tune by ourselves uh, we tune it complete in our dyno we are running 98 octanes um, minimum fuel so you just need that if you're in the states you should have a look to I do not know how much is that but I think there's a calculator but to see the maximum power of 220 horsepower, which BBI expect with the cams, you should really should see 22 degrees of ignition timing, and then you're absolutely happy. So when we're just going out on a little like, more curvy track or road, you really see how I feel how the car accelerates. I love that, and I love it how it goes and revs. So it's for 
wouldn't be the perfect two litre roadster, special on a, on a curvy track like that or a road. So we just we're running here our, our 280 millimeter stop tech brake setup and it really brakes perfectly. Sorry, I would tell you when I'm just I'm, I'm the, the paddle feel is so nice and um, when you're just going ahead a corner and you just break it in you just can 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 really break the car perfect at the edge and have a really good paddle feeling so the paddle feeling actually is like stock but you have a lot more brake performance special um, when you're on the track you, you really can can set up the car and, and get the car there where you want to have it and the biggest afford is you can run with a 280 millimeter stop tech brake setup you can run 16 inch Japan, uh, Japan racing or rotor wheels and you can probably also go to 15 inches so all the Koenig wheels are fitting over the brake setup so it's really nice when you do want to go to the really expensive race wheels you can use that brake setup and that's the point where, like we did it we did it on the 24 hour project on our own car we are running the 280 stop text like on this car with 15 inch rotors and also with dish and it fits perfectly so um, thank you very much for enjoying the video and um, yeah if you want to see more stuff in English just write down in the comment section and yeah, give us a, a feeling what you want to see we want to do now all the videos in two languages in English so also in German thank you bye <laughs>